1st September 2018 Prophet prophesies in the nation America I see a president for America leave his position or never able to back in second term I see in Monday Amen This is the letter President-elect Joe Biden has been waiting for giving him the federal resources he needs to begin putting his administration in place. Trump loyalist Emily Murphy had delayed for weeks, but Monday in this letter, she says she decided on her own, not that Biden was going to be president, but that he can start planning in case he is. U.S. President Donald Trump tweeted out, he gave her permission to move forward, adding their own case strongly continues, we will keep up the good fight. But almost all of his legal cases have been quickly thrown out of court. I do think that he did have some interesting legal cases that he could have brought in a lot of these really close states in Michigan and Pennsylvania, but he didn't bring any of them. His his legal team resorted to these wild uh, you know, theories of conspiracy. President Trump is also losing momentum in the states. On Monday, in Michigan, the results were certified, giving Joe Biden that critical win. This letter means that Biden can now actually plan to be president. But the most important thing is getting all of the people who need to be approved uh, to get senatorial approval and to get security clearances, and there are thousands of them, and that process has been stalled until now. And so the fact that we now have an ability through the GSA to begin the process of doing all those clearances and getting all those processes done uh, means that the Biden administration can hopefully hit the ground running on the afternoon of January 20th. Now the money will flow to the Biden transition team. It will enable the team to have offices, to have staff, to have access to the federal agencies that they will be transitioning the Biden team into officially on January 20th. So uh, it's a significant change. It basically means that Donald Trump and his administration recognized that Joe Biden was the victor in this election. This is important because since the election, every signal from U.S. President Donald Trump and his team has been that he won the election, that he's going to continue to live in the White House. This is the first indication that he may be beginning to realize that he didn't, and come January 20th, he will no longer call this home. Patty Colhane, Al Jazeera, near the White House. Thurgood Marshall Jr. is a former cabinet secretary with the Clinton White House and a transition team member. He says the delay in starting the handover will have a major impact on Joe Biden's ability to meet his targets before taking office. This announcement by the head of the General Services Administration, Emily Murphy, is largely a ministerial act and it should not have been uh, influenced by politics, but the president's involvement, again, tests the norms of behavior in the United States when it comes to politics and democracy. But what's important is the actual formal transition process can now get underway. The delay has been unconscionable and it creates problems and uncertainties that really were not necessary with regard to uh, the fast moving developments with the pandemic and getting the vaccine vaccines out to the public and that process, vitally important within the United States and globally, can now move forward in a much more organized and uh, sensible fashion. And then on the broader issues, uh, over 1,000 appointments that the president-elect needs to make to fill out his government um, and dozens, literally dozens of federal agencies that need to adjust their priorities to match his campaign promises and his platform.